Donald Trump doesn't have a lot of affection for the intelligence community. However, he just named the acting director of national intelligence. And he is certainly one of Trump's loyalists. He's actually also a well known Twitter troll and his name is Richard Grinnell. Now he has been acting as the ambassador to Germany. Germany has been miserable with him as the ambassador representing yeah. the United States. And so they were desperate for the US to recall him, but they got their wish. Unfortunately, now we have to deal with him as the acting director of national intelligence. And that's terrifying considering his previous statements about women, his previous statements about people within his own party, but more importantly, mm -hmm. how much of a Trump loyalist he really is. Now Trump announced his you know, new role on Twitter writing, I'm pleased to announce that our highly respected ambassador to Germany, Richard Grinnell, will become the acting director of national intelligence. Rick has represented our country exceedingly well, and I look forward to working with him. And then he goes on to thank Joe McGuire for the wonderful job he has done. And we look forward to working with him closely, perhaps in another capacity within the administration. It's weird that considering how highly respected he is, he's just making him the acting you know, DNI rather than going through the process where the Republicans in the Senate would just confirm him, right? I mean, there's nothing crazy or obscene that would come up during that process. He's so highly respected, just you know, put him up and have him confirmed. I'm so, well, glad you I'm so glad you mentioned that, mm -hmm. John. Now, since he has been confirmed by the Senate for his role as ambassador to Germany, he does not have to be confirmed as acting director of national intelligence. Which doesn't make any sense. Which doesn't They're make any sense, and we should change the law. But again, according to Politico, Grinnell is already Senate confirmed. So Trump can name him acting DNI under the Federal Vacancies Reform Act. So who is this guy? Let's go a little deeper and figure out how much of a disaster this really is. Well, he's a former Fox News contributor. He's known to be a fierce online warrior for Trump, who has been unafraid to parrot the Trump line and lecture his host country, which was Germany, so much that they called on the White House to recall him from his ambassador post in Berlin. Also, he has a history of saying pretty terrible things to women, including women in his own party. I should note he's openly gay, so he is now the first openly gay acting director of national intelligence. But just because he's gay doesn't mean he's a good person, he's actually a pretty terrible person. Lori Blackford, a producer for Chris Matthews long before he came to MSNBC, Recalled remarks Grinnell allegedly made to a fellow campaign staffer on the 1992 Bush Quayle reelection campaign. She was quoted as saying, one of our staff people came in and had on a flowery dress and red shoes. And Rick, meaning Richard Grinnell, looked at her and said, didn't your mother ever tell you only whores and very small children wear red shoes? Is that like a common phrase? I've never heard that before. I really like red shoes, actually. I uh -oh. red pumps. Um, I I do not get paid for sex, so I guess you're a kid at heart. I might be an exception um, to that rule. I don't know. That's it's such a weird thing to say. Both obviously sexist, misogynist, and totally inappropriate, and weird at the same time that he could end up being the Democratic nominee. <sighs> God, <laughs> the state of our country. As my brother who has a baby at home and is very stressed out likes to say, our lives are in shambles, mm -hmm. okay? <laughs> it's all shambles as far as the eye can see. It's just, it's so much. And one other thing I wanted to bring to everyone's attention, Grinnell was infamously fired from his role as national security advisor to the 2012 Mitt Romney campaign after a right wing backlash over his being openly gay. So that was wrong, what what the Romney campaign did was wrong. So two things can be true, mm -hmm. Grinnell can just be a, an incredibly flawed, terrible human being. And Romney can also be wrong for firing him over his sexual, yeah. ident uh, sexual identity, but or sexual orientation. But one thing that I do wanna say is I think the Romney angle also informed Trump's decision in picking Grinnell. Mm -hmm. Because remember, Romney was the only Republican who voted to convict Trump on one of the articles of impeachment, which was abuse of power. And I'm sure that Trump is kind of like, you know, oh, a little cherry on top. Mm -hmm. Let me go ahead and, you know, name him acting national. By the way, think about how scary this is. You don't think that the Trump administration would use, you know, our intelligence community to spy on his 
political rivals or people he doesn't like? No, because what if he got caught? Think about the consequences. Oh yeah, I mean. Think about the consequences. Right. Yeah, it's also, I, I know this is just this is a thing that a lot of Americans who are um, uh, not straight and Republicans have to deal with, but it's just so weird that like, you're forced out of an advising role in national security, has nothing to do with anything to do with your identity. But just your identity is enough that like regular Republicans insist you be fired. And you just try to find another position in that same party that like is fundamentally as you? evil as they were. I mean, I know that that's a difficult thing. And if you believe certain things politically, like what else are you supposed to do? But that's, man, that's gotta, it's gotta suck. The real losers in this entire situation are the American people because Trump has proven over and over again that he has no problem abusing his power. And if he takes all of these top positions within the intelligence community and fills them with his loyalists, he can abuse his power further, mm -hmm. and you know, warrantless wiretapping was a huge problem under the Bush administration. We found out about the indiscriminate spying on American citizens through the NSA mm -hmm. under the Obama administration. I mean, they abuse their power as well, but. Trump is a completely different animal, which is why when you have a president in office who you like and they abuse their power, you need to think ahead and consider what kind of impact that would have mm -hmm. if someone you don't like is in office. Yeah. Yeah, and also, I mean, like we've rightly pointed out that he's got this terrible reputation, and most likely that's why Trump knows about him and likes him in the first place, is because of, you know, he supports Trump and he's awful. That's all it really takes. But also, like while we disagree with a lot of what you know various officials inside the intelligence community would do and have done, I still also think that you probably should be qualified in some way for that position. <laughs> and this guy isn't in any like I'm imagining like I got this job yeah. without any like prior news experience or anything, which was a questionable decision on no, all of it your wasn't. part. You proved your let me just Thank be clear you. about I'm, that. Yes. You proved yourself. He Thank would, you. He it's would send joke. in like correspondent videos for our yes. TYT University show, and he was great. I'm just I'm just being self-deprecating. I made the decision to bring him on. But this not a big is, deal. She did. I make good decisions. Thank you. I, I appreciate the life <laughs> you've given me. Uh, <laughs> but th this is not like you can learn. The DNI, I'm guessing it's complicated. I mean, we have what, 17 different organizations involved in the collection of international intelligence. We have to synthesize all of that. You have to know these sorts of things. Wouldn't we want someone who has some experience in that? We would, but here's the thing, Trump of course does not. He has no interest whatsoever in any of that working. He doesn't have to weed through resumes, he just chooses somebody he likes because he wants it to grind to a halt. I mean that that apparently, I forget exactly who it was in the intelligence committee, but they briefed Congress like five days ago on the likelihood that, that Russia is working right now to get Trump reelected. That is really inconvenient if you're Donald Trump. Why would you want that sort of briefing to even happen? Just hire some loyalist who's going to make it difficult for the intelligence community to do its job. And even if they do their job, he'll provide one more stopping point for that information before it can get to anyone important.